Hi guys and welcome to your collective tarot love messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see if we can get some signs of confirmation that you're with a soulmate or that you're in a soulmate connection or that you're perhaps with a twin flame or you are experiencing a twin flame connection. So we'll go ahead and see if the cards could um, indicate any signs to say that you are experiencing a soulmate or a twin flame connection. Um, it is going to be a general reading guys. There's also going to be a part two to this reading, an extended reading which is going to be made available via the extension link below. We will continue on with the messages in the extended reading and perhaps maybe even dive deeper into some of those messages. Once again the, the extended is going to be made available via the extension link below where the show more section is. Um, I just want to remind everyone this is a general collective tarot message. Um, if you're after a personalized reading, one in which the messages are personalized and tailored specifically to you and your situation, whether it's love, career, romance, or just uh, any general spiritual messages that you want to see guidance on, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is also going to be listed just below the video also where that show more section is. Okay, with all of that being said, guys, um, let's go ahead and let's begin with the reading. So we want signs and we want confirmation from the tarot guides, from the universe, from the cosmic forces uh, to, to confirm, to indicate whether you're in a twin flame um, connection or whether you're experiencing a soulmate connection. Wow, that's noisy. not straight. Oh no, that's going to annoy me. Okay. Okay, the energies seem to indicate that this is indeed a very, um, a very spe special and um, a very powerful union. Um, I'm getting a lot of very strong soulmate energy. What a lot of people don't seem to understand is it's, you know, a soulmate connection. Because I can see in the cards that this isn't this perfect, harmonious union of bliss. Um, a lot of people seem to think that your, you know, your soulmate is, you know, your other half, someone who completes you, and that it is this, you know, perfect, harmonious union of bliss and happiness. Uh, it isn't. Um, this person hasn't come into your life to complete your mission. Um, this is something that you need to do alone. But I can see that this person has come into your life to help you become a better person to help you grow and this process isn't always um, harmonious this process isn't always a blissful experience and I can see that the cards seem to indicate um, you know this there is a lot of turbulence in the connections here there is even some um, periods of loneliness and isolation um, but what I see the in the energies here is that what you have with this person is something that is honest. It's something that is sincere. It's something that is, uh, you know, I'm getting strong, you know, commitment energy. Even if this person isn't always consistent or isn't even if this person and your experience with this individual hasn't always been harmonious and hasn't always been blissful. I think that this person has come into your life to truly push boundaries to truly push you outside of your um, comfort zone. I did mention that I feel like, you know, this individual has a very strong soulmate energy, but there is also, I can see that there are certain cards and certain energies here that also seem to indicate that this also has, you know, uh, similarities to a twin flame connection as well. 
Um, the thing is, with this, with this particular connection, what I'm seeing is that it was either really rough at the beginning or it kind of was really smooth at the beginning and then it turned rough. Um, at times it feels like, you know, think of a jigsaw puzzle. At times it feels like it's two pieces that don't really, they don't look like they fit, okay? They're a little jagged, they're, you know, they don't look like they're meant to fit. But um, soon after, uh, you know, soon after twisting and turning the puzzle pieces this way and that, you soon figure out, and after you flip them around, you soon figure out that there is a click. Suddenly you guys do click and suddenly it does make sense, even though, you know, it may not have, uh, even though, you know, you guys may have begun on the wrong foot or it started out uh, with the wrong turn. Um, for a lot of you, how you know that there are certain indications that I'm going to run through, um, through the reading here, just bear with me. It just grew dark all of a sudden. Um, there are certain indications, certain messages, certain signs and synchronicities, you know, um, that is being uh, communicated to you. Certain messages that the universe sends to you to let you know that you are experiencing a twin flame or you are experiencing a soulmate connection. And, and I will run through these signs shortly, but... Um, often what happens is a soulmate or a twin flame, he or she, they do appear in disguise. Um, there isn't always that, you know, initial or physical attraction to one another. But when you do meet, there's this mysterious force that somehow pushes you towards this individual. Even if you don't know what it is just yet, it doesn't always begin with attraction. For a lot of you, yes, it was an instant attraction. It was an instant connection. But for some of you listening to this, it was something outside of that initial attraction. It was something, it may not even have been that attraction, that physical attraction to begin with, but there was this deep, mysterious, um, spiritual, unexplainable force that just drew the two of you together it just gravitated you uh, with this person and it's this it's this very mysterious force that keeps pushing the both of you forward um, and it's that mysterious force that mysterious energy whatever we want to label it it's that very that very feeling okay it's it's something very spiritual it's it's something that comes from your gut it's that very feeling that you need to trust because it's this feeling that tells you that, you know, this is the right one or this is the person that you're meant to be with. And even if you're not meant to end up with this person, this is the person that you're meant to be with right now. It's this, you know, um, it's this energy, this energy that it just, it suddenly makes sense. It's this for a lot of you, you know, there's something deep inside of you that tells you that this is, this person may not be perfect, but he or she is perfect for you. Um, you know, it's a spiritual force that is pushing you to let go of any ID or any um, false impressions that you might have had of this person or this relationship. And it's it's telling you to give yourself completely to this individual because there is such a healing quality to the energies here. Um, the both of you, because for a lot of you, this is a soulmate connection that I'm picking up. It, it's You have crossed paths with this individual before. Somehow, in another place, in another lifetime, you guys have previously met. Back in that time, you might not have necessarily connect, connected, okay? But you were in the same place at the same time with this very individual. And this is your souls getting a second chance. This is the universe... Um, allowing you to meet because in another lifetime maybe the timing wasn't right okay maybe you guys like for example you might have lived across the street from one another but never truly met so you didn't really get that chance the opportunity and your souls have um you know your souls have now met at the right time you have to the thing is time is so big because you know if this is indeed a soulmate connection you have to be ready to receive your soul connection so maybe you weren't ready, okay? And maybe this is someone you've met in this lifetime. And maybe it's someone that you've tried numerous times to make it work. And notice how you guys, are, the two of you are always constantly in close proximity with one another. Um, and it might have been spanned over four years. Like you may have always been great friends despite the both of you always having a romantic interest in each other. Or you guys, you know, maybe try dating but something about the timing not being right for the, for the both of you. Um, and the reason why, you know, you've come back together again is because this is a soulmate connection. This is a soul attraction. Therefore, you guys are gravitating back towards one another. So, and the thing is for this person, when it comes to soulmates, time has to be... Timing is everything. Time is, timing is almost always everything, right? 
and especially this time around so even if you are going through I notice there's rough patches in the connection or maybe it started off a little rough it started off on the wrong foot or you guys are going through a bit of a rough patch now that's because uh, you know timing is so big here timing is so instrumental your quiet your quiet space is also very important okay that quiet peace between you so sometimes maybe you or your soulmate need to be able to sort of you know your quiet space is a peaceful place and your souls need that for one another and sometimes maybe you do feel like the both of you just want to isolate from isolate yourselves and shut yourselves off from the rest of the world uh, it's it's a very there's a depth to the relationship that you can really feel okay so even though I do see that there is some twin flame indications or there is some um, there's some there is some indications here in the cards to um, to I guess it, that does you know that does point this towards a twin flame connection but to me there seems to be a lot more depth to the uh, a lot more depth that you can feel to this relationship this is why I feel like this is more soulmate than twin flame although it could for some of you you know it could be a twin flame um, I'm not going to rule that out but if it is then there's just so much depth to it as well there's a lot of depth to this connection that isn't verbally expressed you guys feel each other you guys feel each other when you're near you guys feel each other when you're far you guys feel each other's thoughts um, even you know it's almost like you can hear what your person is feeling or thinking um, speaking about feeling I'm also seeing that there is pain in the energies here and I don't think this person has caused you pain I think they've come into your life to you know help you feel the pain but help you heal the pain um, they're, they're adding to your growth this is someone who can stand like this person can stand in your shoes and you can stand in theirs and you guys know each other very well like you feel each other's feelings you feel each other's emotions they feel when you worry they feel your sadness they feel your stress um, and they also feel your happy like feel your happiness and they also feel your joy there is so much feeling so much depth which is why I'm inclined to say that this is more soulmate than it is twin flame it's this you know being able to feel each other and knowing each other's flaws okay so this person knows like they're not perfect you know but they're perfect for you okay you might not be perfect but you're perfect for them so your flaws have benefits to them and their flaws you know have benefits for you so I mean every trait has a positive side right as well as a negative side uh, and, and it's this person this person knows your your traits they know your flaws and they um, they know how to strengthen them as well you guys have I can see that you share very similar if not the same values the same ethics as well you do have a different ways of reaching goals or you have a different way of doing things and this is where I feel like you guys really um like it works because you guys you're similar but so different in so many ways um conversations can be challenging and I think you've really attempted to express yourselves or you express your emotions and I can see that this is when it becomes a little bit uncomfortable to, between you and the person um you know they can be very closed off emotionally. They can be very guarded. And I see that communication is very challenging when it comes to this relationship. But if you can, guys, if you guys can just join together and find a way to make it work, that's absolutely, um, that's really going to help and be, like really help benefit the relationship. I don't see you're, that you're really threatened by the need for alone time or I don't see that your person is really threatened by the need for alone time because I feel like you both respect each other's independence, you both respect each other's quiet space or if you don't, maybe this is something some of you might need to work on, you know, knowing that when you get together, um, you know, that time is special but knowing that your time alone is also very special as well. So just respecting each other's independence, um, also respecting each other's differences as I've mentioned you guys are very similar similar um, values similar ethics similar traits but my goodness you also have some very different opinions you also have some very different beliefs and you know you sometimes you guys as similar as you are you guys are polar opposites from one another and that's fine it can be challenging absolutely it can be very challenging it can be very frustrating but 
you you know you can still have your opinion and disagree with this person there's this deep level of respect between you and this person like listening and honoring each other's differences honoring each other's opinions as well this person has hurt you okay but unintentionally i can see that your connection with this person has not been smooth sailing it wouldn't be if it was a soulmate connection because remember that you are here to help each other grow you are here to help each other expand your energies to help each other elevate and um, ascend okay so you know if it was with smooth sailing it wouldn't be a connection that would push and challenge you and you know push you outside of your comfort zone so I can see that the both of you have unintentionally hurt each other, okay? But there is no malice, there is no intention behind it. They are not malicious. They are not being nasty, deliberate. They're not being hurtful um, purposefully. So, you know, they're, and they're not trying to punish you in any way. When they pull away, or when they give you the silent treatment, or when they respond with anger, it's not because they're playing games or it's not because they're being juvenile. You know, when someone responds with anger, it's because they're hurting. So I can see with... Uh, you know, within this relationship, I can see that the both of you have unintentionally hurt each other, but I can also see that you know how to apologize, or this is something that, again, needs to be worked on. So, you know, admitting that you've hurt them, or admitting that they've hurt you, um, soul, a soulmate realizes when his or her words or his or her actions have hurt someone else. A soulmate is able to realize that, okay? Even if they feel justified in their actions or justified in their point of view they realize when they've overstepped boundaries they realize when they've been hurtful disrespectful and they will easily apologize okay so just because it's a soulmate connection it doesn't mean that this person isn't going to hurt you it doesn't mean that you're not going to get hurt or feel the pain or feel betrayed but they know when they you know they take they know when they've done that and they'll take accountability for it um I can see that when you're with this person, um, it's see so your souls are meant to be together eternally. With twin flames, you don't always end up with this person, okay? Um, but with a soulmate, you, it, your souls are you know your souls. It's destiny at play. Your souls are absolutely destined to be together. And there's something very special about this connection. Um, you're connected at a soul at a spiritual level with this person and understand that the universe has had a huge helping hand in bringing the both of you together so yes there are certain certain signs of synchronicities that are absolutely personal to you around this person and around this connection and it, it's some you know when a soulmate connection happens there's this mysterious force or this mysterious power that takes over This person is absolutely helping you to understand yourself better, to connect with yourself better, um, you know, to build a better relationship with yourself, to connect with your inner self. Um, and your bonding with this person has happened under some very, um, maybe some very hurtful or some very painful and uncomfortable circumstances. They're guiding you. They have... They have this healing and quality, uh, qu sorry, this healing quality, this healing energy to their nature, and they are guiding you through your life. They, um, at times when you might have found yourself very lost and just hurting, um, and just in a lot of pain, notice how this person showed up at such a time, or notice how this person is always there at such a time, you know, or they just kind of appear out of nowhere to be there for you. This is them guiding you. This is them helping you. This is them, you know, trying to hold your hand when your hand needs to be held. Trying to listen to you when you need and, you know, listening in. Um, see, the, the big... The number one reason how this differs from a twin flame connection is a twin flame connection, it starts on a really high note. 
um, with lots of love, with lots of intensity, and it's full on. But then that kind of that loses momentum, whereas this hasn't necessarily lost that momentum. You know, twin flames can't sustain that same um, intensity or the same depth of emotion for uh, for very long. Um, however, with a soulmate, this is your mirror image. Okay, this person is your mirror image of who you are, and um, this is someone that is tied to you. This is someone that's tied to you emotionally, spiritually. Could be a karmic soulmate for some of you. So, you know, for instance, if you have been together, you could have parted with this person, um, you know, due to unresolved issues, unresolved emotions. But then, you know, it, it's all reborn and then you come back together to repay... Um, to repay the karmic debt that you guys have owed to each other. But again, you know, this is this soul is here to help you evolve and to help you progress towards sp spiritual enlightenment. Okay, guys, in part two of the reading, we want to continue on and see... Um, we want to continue on and see, you know, what will... Uh, what will it look like for you and your soulmate from here on in? What will, how will the rest of your connection maybe play out? If you are in a separation or a disconnection or a discord with your soulmate, when is it that the two of you might be coming back together? When is it that you might hear from this person? Because I do get a little bit of isolation. I do get a bit of a, um, you know, a, a lonely phase right now, some alone time. Um, and how will this alone time impact your relationship? So follow me to part two, the extended reading. Um... If you're, you know, if you're, if there's no contact, no communication phase, when will that end? Okay, so follow me to part two via the extension link below. I want to thank you guys so much for your time, your energy, and your attention. Please show your support if you haven't already by subscribing to the channel, by liking, um, or disliking if you have to, on the channel. Um, also by uh, subscribing or commenting. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.